Welcome to Steampunk Tuesday. I'm Ian. And this is Mike. Today's project is my take on the Fortune Teller's Handbook. Mike made one about a year and a half ago? About a year and a half ago now, yeah. And we had an order from our good friend Victoria and I've put my spin on Mike's concept of the Fortune Teller's Handbook. Yes, and possibly done it better. One couldn't possibly say. Right, well, let's have a look at it then. So this is Ian's take on my Fortune Teller's Handbook. So as Ian said, about 18 months ago, there, give or take, yeah. um, I made one of these um, for myself, but after I'd made it, um, I sold it. And then I got asked to make a version for a few other people as well. You did. I ended up making about six. Yes. So I took it off the website, or just left it sold out on the website. Um, and then, 18 months later, Victoria asked whether we would make one for her. But, based on mine, but, we decided that Ian would put his spin on Victoria's version. Yes. And this is it. It's quite a weighty tome, as usual. With 200, 200 pages again. Yeah. With oh loads of tucks. Yeah, I think my original version didn't have two hundred pages. It, it had less, I mm. think. <laughs> okay, shall we have a flick through, Mike? Yes, please. Okay. So we have a little pocket in the front. So obviously, with it being a fortune teller's handbook, it's all about reading fortunes. It's all about astrology. Yeah. Ast is it astrology? Ast yeah, it is astrology. Astrology, yeah. Not astronomy. No astrology, different. yeah. Ones, yeah. It's very much on the, it loses a lot of ephemera from the Victorian age. Yes, and, and a little bit later. Yes, it does. So I have a little pocket there. I love the little Ouija. Little Ouija there. Alexander yeah. knows, cool. calls, sees all, tells all. Love it, fortune teller. And again. Star guide. Yes. Then we have first page. It's got a tarot card, the magician. But because I love filling everything. <laughs> We have a pocket, but the pockets match the back Backs. of the tarot card um, journaling. Right, so there are tarot cards, but Oh, yeah. they're actually journaling cards. Yes, they are. So you've got, the, even the big ones, they're like postcard size. Mm. Yeah. They're all to journal on. If you if you saw my mini book of shadows that I made during my seven days of Halloween, you'll have seen the little tarot card, journaling cards that I did. Yes, I did. I stole Ian's idea. Ah. Makes a change because he it? stole the idea from me to do the portable journaling cards. So yes. it swings and roundabouts, so and we steal each other's yes, ideas. Yes, we do. So B Bentley's licking my knees. <laughs> I think it's Bentley anyway. It is. I don't know why it's under the table. I don't either. So we have another Ouija one there. Consult the Oracle, Alexander. Some are lined, but they're all, of course, tea dyed. So well, they've all got that. Been wrinkled. Thing. Wrinkled. Not yes. tea dyed. Because no, you've used parchment paper uh -huh. again. It's all parchment paper. The, na the light of nature with the sun. Yes, you have a strong lifeline. I like that one with the palmistry um, image on the previous page. There. Yes, you have a strong lifeline. I like it. Then we have a large pocket there and another little journaling tarot tag. Tarot tag. What does it say under the bottom of that one? Sorry. The solace is your, your fortune. I like it. Then we have for who shall be saved. That's a. Isn't that. One of the lines from Ask Not For Whom The Bell Told. Yes, it is. Ah, come on, Bentley. It says on there, New Beginnings. Yeah, it's stood under the table, wait. I'm surprised you can't feel it against your knees. Look into the future there with like a 19, mm -hmm. 1920s. It's almost like the uh, Mucha kind yes, of, it is. Nouveau kind of style, isn't it? Is. It is. Yeah. Come on, Bentley, how you come? Come on. Good boy. I know what's up with him, he wants to play. He does. We have the Emperor. Your hard work is paying off. Time to make some changes. You know these tarot cards, and you've got these things at the top. Yeah. Did you did you look into what the cards mean? Yeah. Clever boy. Clever what you can find on on um, w uh, what's it called Wikipedia. <laughs> Whether it's right or not, it's a different matter. Then we have a small envelope there mm -hmm. with a tall card in it, and that one, of course, is all to be written on the back. It's all got checked paper. Yep. Grid paper. Grid paper for bullet journaling and the like. Yep. Then we have Carter, he's on the centre spread. Magical happen, make something magical happen. Love it. And again, I, I love that. I love the Xanthor one there. Yeah. And then we come back through. But each one 
The pages are the same, but the ephemera is different in each. Likey. I like the sun and the moon. Yes. One of my favourite images there. We come back through, but the ephemera is different. Like here, we have a little fortune. Oh, it's like fortune Victorian. wheel. Yeah. Wheel of fortune. Then we have Le Diable. Nice. Again. Cards card, journaling card, and then a palmistry. Love it. For writing on the back. Yeah. With uh, paper on the back. Everything has right. You can write on the back of every one of the cards. See, and this one has got the stars and the moon. Nice. Is that from my stash? It is. Oh. And then the, the lovers. Lover, the lovers. Again, opens up. But then we have the gypsy fortune teller there. I like that one. I like I like it because I've, what I've done That's is That's really old, that. Oh, it is. It's it's very, very, very early. Very, very early. It is. Um, 1900s, that one. If not before. As we go through, we have the same pages again. But as I say, the ephemeral. Oh, look at him. That's cool. I love what you've done with breaking these up. It's really good. Well, I didn't want to have the same thing every time. So if you flick through, you get different pockets. Different pockets with different cards. And of course, you can journal on the back of them. you rounded the bottoms of those. Well. I have, so they go in, the, go in there easy, yeah. Anybody think you've given this any thought? I know. And then we have the Xanthor, a tall one. Brilliant. But I love it because it's so ephemeral. It's all very much of its snippets. time. And of its time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all, yeah all very much of its time. Flick through there. You see, they're the same pages, but we change them up by putting different cards in. Ask a question. <laughs> Tell no lies. The stars. The stars. Again. You don't speak. You don't do French, do you? No. <laughs> I watched Montalbano last night, so I'm doing Italian. <laughs> a brand new series of Inspector. If Montalbano. you ever get a chance in the US, look for Inspector Montalbano. It's Italian with subtitles, but the stories are unbelievable. They're great, aren't they? And it's always sunny there as well. Yes. The Pendu, the hanged man. Ah. See it all matches. Yes, again, I love the backs of those cards. I want every, wanted everything to match, but also every to, everything to be quite different. Mm. You've certainly crammed enough in. Well, I like to give value, you know that. Yeah. Here we, are, we have another. Ooh, La Morte. But doesn't this really mean death? No, it doesn't. It just means the end. The, the end, end of something. something. Yeah. Xantho with Carter there. Go through again. Palmistry one there. Again, I love the way you've positioned the image. Enjoy on the, the wonder. It's all very, very, very Victorian. Yes, embrace the mystery. And that lovely with Carter there. I love that. The Sally of the Sun. And your fortune there, little thing about um, another wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune type thing. Goes into there. I'd like to have one of those Carter things. I know you can get them as a big post. Yeah. Um, maybe I have to invest in one. I think so. And then we come back through and we say we've got even more. The little one you had before is now a big card. Excellent. And of course, La Lune, the moon. Yes. What's in there? I only know that because you asked me. This is true. <laughs> So they all just fit in. You can have them wherever you want. I've just sort of placed them throughout the throughout the, the journal. Yeah, and again, lots and lots of spaces for, again, um, for writing, for journaling, for listing, for, for using, for your travels. Love it. But I say it's so Victorian and so very, I love that one. Yeah, the Power Street one. Reading the lines. <laughs> and of course that, you write on the back of those. Every one of the cards is being able to write on the back or they all open up. One of the one of the two. So there's loads of places to write. There's a huge wheel of fortune there. Le Monde. The world. And then a little palmistry card. So you get different designs in different sizes in different formats. Mm -hmm. So everything will match together. And then the final one, we have a very complicated astral oh, calendar yeah. there. Yeah. I'm out again there, and the Gypsy Fortune Teller. I think is that not a it, that looks like a biorhythm chart actually. Does it? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. It's a bit old for biorhythms. Or it could just be um, a, a reading from birth, a, a birth chart. I think it might be. So we go back through. I remember when biorhythms were a thing. Yeah, I do. Again, the world. Yeah, but they generally everyone is different. There's different sized cards and different sized pockets. It's great, like I said, you've crammed so much into it. Um, pocket at the end? 
And yeah, there is. And even the pocket at the end, you have. Excellent. But you've also got, when you take them out, it looks as though there's Alexander, one the man who knows. Yeah, and then there's another Ouija there. So there is a lot in there. I haven't counted them, but trust me, there's a lot. It's all got book corners on it as well, so you've got the fancy metal corners. Mm -hmm. There's a book plate to go in there, but I haven't put it in yet, which is going to be, it uh, just says belongs to. It's in a lovely, lovely blue. Like a royal blue, isn't it? Yeah. My original one was purple, but yeah. Victoria wanted blue. Blue, yeah. yeah. So that is Victoria's journal. If you would like one making the same, <laughs> very, or very similar to Victoria's, <laughs> whew, I'll pop some photos on the website so you can have a look. So if you'd like one similar to this, it won't be exactly the same. I changed the content slightly. Your website this time, not mine. My website this time, not Mike. So www.vernintries.co.uk. I'll put it on the screen there. It'll be in there. So that is my show and tell for today. Which is Victoria's Fortune Tellers Handbook. Handbook, it is. Excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking, clicking the, the link below. At the button at the end of at the, the end video. of the video. I never get that right, ladies and no, gents. It's because you're rubbish. I'm rubbish, but I'm good at it. Yes. <laughs> That's all from us for now. We'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye, Bye for, for now. now. See, could have done that for Halloween. Couldn't we? Well, we could have done. Oh, never mind. Happy Halloween anyway. Next year. Yeah. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.